Hello, this is Scotty Reed with the Black Talk Media Project. And I was asked some questions about uh, Sam Broadcaster as well as Butt Broadcaster and by one of our clients. And so I want to uh, make this video specifically for them, but also others may have uh, the same questions. And so um, the way that I broadcast, I prefer to connect to the uh, server with Butt but it's a very simple, clean program. I rarely ever have any issues with it. But the reason that I use But instead of using Sam Broadcaster Pro to broadcast is because I want my stream when I'm on live to always uh, stay in the media player. For example, if I go to blacktalkradionetwork.com, um, um, the me many of the media players that people use or um, whether they are connected to like the Shoutcast uh, directory or uh, any kind of media player that displays what's playing now as this media player does. Now, no, I'm not connected to the stream. This is Auto DJ that's running right now on our station, Black Talk Radio Network. And so it's just showing... Uh, pulling the ID3 tags to tell people, well, this is what's now playing. Okay, now the reason that I use but is because but has a feature that allows me to, to send that information out through the update song manually feature. So if I'm broadcasting, for example, Political Prisoner Radio, uh, what I'll put in there is Political Prisoner Radio live and the date and then that will come across, you know, the media players. It's just to let people know this is not a rebroadcast. This is a actual live show. And so once you put that in there, you just hit OK or you go back to main and you hit save settings. And um, as you can see, it say updated song name to Political Prisoner Radio Live. So that's what will go out. That's why I use but one of the reasons I use but because it is just a very clean simple piece of software to live stream all right but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to simulate that I'm streaming uh, but if I was going to go on air live of course um, I would go in to the server stop the auto DJ then come back and hit play here and then I'll be streaming live if I was at, if I had stopped the auto DJ what this would do is start streaming live and uh, counting down the time that you're on air, but I'm again, I'm not even going to attempt to uh, stream live here. Okay, so that's why I use but. Now, I one of the first pieces of software I used to broadcast uh, was Sam Broadcaster Pro. Um, at the time that I purchased it, I think it was something like a, a hundred and ninety something dollars, something like that. It's not a cheap program, and it is a great program. It's just that, you know, I prefer for my own reasons that I just explained to use but because it rarely locks up. And I have had issues in the past with Sam locking up when I'm doing the live stream. So when I'm playing mute, I use Sam, though, to play like my intro music and, and then fade it out. And then, you know, when I want to play like promotional clips or, or news clips or something like that for my talk radio programs, um, that is what I use Sam for. So, for example, um, let's say that I stopped the auto DJ. Well, let me say I'm getting ready to broadcast. I'm already called into the conference line that I'm using to take calls and whatnot. Let's just assume all of that. Okay, so... I also use uh, Sam Broadcaster to record my podcast. I do not use but to record my podcast. When I'm streaming live, I have start recording when connected. I don't have that check. Only thing I want to do with but is stream. I do not want it recording my podcast from the live broadcast. Okay. So what I do is I make an encoder in Sam which you can hit the plus sign, of course, going to be MP3, hit OK, uh, put in the bit rate. I'm, I'm always streaming at 64 kilobytes stereo. I lead a sampling rate to auto. Um, server details, I, I don't use a server, so I'm not going to connect to the server. I don't need to enter any information, so I'm going to cl click on no server. 
All right. Then I'm going to go to stream archive, save stream the file. This is saving your podcast. So I click that and then I just simply choose whatever folder um, that I want to uh, save it in. So I just find the folder programs. Let me see. I think I got one for 2015, something like that. But um, again, this is just for uh, illustrative purposes. But I will just hit uh, open. Then I hit OK. And it's going to add another encoder down there. I got several encoders for different shows I broadcast. And uh, so then when I'm ready to go on air, then I go ahead and load up my intro music and whatnot. And so now I'm ready to broadcast. So I will go to the auto DJ, uh, log into the radio server. Then I would uh, just hit stop on auto DJ. Once I hit stop on auto DJ, then I come to but, then I hit play on but and then it starts live streaming so then I go over here to to uh, Sam Broadcaster and I start my show When I had the mic on, um, that allows the voice effects feature to work. And so then when I push lock to talk, that will take the music down so that I can talk over it. All right. So I'm doing like my intro. You are tuned in to Black Talk Radio News with Scotty Reed broadcasting an hour of news and information and more. The call in number is 704 and blah, blah, blah. Now, once, once um, I've given like my little intro, I'll then just like um, make the song in and then continue on with the broadcast. So, oh man, one thing I forgot to show you is before you play your intro music, you got to hit record here on your encoder or it won't record it. So I, that's what I forgot to do. I'm, I apologize. So let's just do it over again. All right. So again, I'm, I, I go to the auto DJ. I hit stop. Then um, I made sure that in the update song manually, I put the name of the show, hit OK. For to double check, I hit save settings to make sure that it saved it. I hit stop on the auto DJ then hit play for on but so that it then connects to the server and i'm live streaming then i come here to um to uh sam broadcaster i hit record on the encoder to save my podcast which it is safe encoding then i go ahead and play my intro music Hit lock to talk so that the music drops down and then continue with your show. Talk as long as you want to with the intro music behind you. And then you just uh, fast forward it and that'll run the music out and then you can continue with your broadcast. And then, you know, like I got station IDs when I'm ready uh, coming up on like the half hour mark of my program. Um, or whatever program I'm assisting in broadcasting, when it's time to play that, I just simply cue it up. The uh, station identification, make sure lock the talk is off, then go ahead and uh, play the You station. are tuned in to the Black Talk Radio Network. For podcasts and live program scheduling, visit us on the web at blacktalkradionetwork.com. Okay, so then once my show is over, my program is over, then I just hit stop encoding. All right, so that is how I use But Broadcaster in conjunction with Sam Broadcaster Pro. 
Um, I, I just like the way Sam, um, the sound quality of the podcast that Sam records over the quality of the uh, podcast that Butt records. So that's why I use the two in conjunctions for the various reasons that I have uh, given you. I hope that this was a constructive video and it was helpful to you. Um, again, if you find any of the videos and work that we do to be constructive, please consider, consider making a donation to the nonprofit Black Talk Media Project. Uh, you can uh, find PayPal buttons and addresses on blacktalkradionetwork.com as well as Black Talk Media Project. O-R-G. Peace and blessings.